Hi everybody, welcome to the Clubby Christmas Marathon. I am Doreen from Door Designs. I believe I'm the last one on the marathon, so uh, hopefully you guys will be able to stay awake because I think it's about 10 o'clock on the East Coast. So hopefully you will enjoy this design uh, that I'm gonna be making. Um, I was able to watch several of the lives this past weekend, and boy, what beautiful designs really put you in the Christmas spirit. So hopefully this, this design will kind of carry through. I'm going to be doing a grapevine wreath. It's going to be on a 21, 22 inch oval base with a sign that I got from Wood Art Studio by Ivith. And this is going to be my theme. It's going to be this little Santa here. And he is just adorable. And we're really going to play off the colors that are in the um, snowman's or the Santa's head here. And then we're going to be using some ribbon that's going to bring out kind of that glistening effect that the sign has. So what I've done on my grapevine. After I cleaned it, I actually went out and I sprayed it with some glitter dust. Um, I think it's called glitter dust or diamond dust. And this is what I use. And the reason why I do that on some of my Christmas designs, I love designing on grapevines, but sometimes it's the flat brown, it's kind of hard to kind of get that piece of it to fit into the design. So if I want something to be more Christmassy, sparkly, that's what I do. I just kind of spray it real light, just go around it, let it dry because I'm not gonna cover the entire wreath with uh, greenery and stuff. Some of the grapevine's gonna show, and I want that to have that effect to it. So the ribbons I'm gonna be using are gonna be these, and you'll notice that it's got kind of the flocked, kind of a uh, snowy effect on the um, ribbon between the red and the green. And then we're gonna kind of bring in some of the sparkle with the sparkle that's in the uh, snowballs on here. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of the um, snowflakes in here that's got a glisten to them, kind of a sparkle glitter. And then for my accents, we're gonna be using these berries that have the look of ice and snow on them. So we're gonna continue our theme. And then I found these, which I'm gonna call little snowballs. We're gonna be using some of these. And then I love these snowflakes that also have the glitter and shine. And I got these at Walmart and I use a lot of those during the holiday season. So I've already attached my pipe cleaners on the back, so we're gonna go ahead and attach the sign, and then we're gonna do the bow and start filling in. I'm gonna take my sign down this side, and then we're gonna decorate all the way around. So this part of it's probably the part of the grapevine that's gonna show. So I'm gonna go ahead and attach my sign. And for those of you that follow me, this is the part I hate the worst. I'm actually probably going to just lay it down. And all I'm going to do is feed my pipe cleaner through my grapevine and pull it through. Maybe if it will come through this side for me. This grapevine's a really nice grapevine. It's nice and thick, which I love. They're easier to design with when I'm putting in my greenery. Sometimes if your grapevines are very narrow and very thin, kind of see-through, it's a little bit harder because it's harder to get your uh, picks and stuff glued to the side there. Here we go. And I just pull them through and I just tie them off at the back side. I just got some of my Christmas shirts from my shop that I ordered in for the holiday season. So I thought I'd put one on for the Christmas marathon. Okay, we just about got this attached. And there's the sign. Cute as can be. Okay, let's make the bow. And I'm gonna be using the Easy Bow Maker. Uh, and the reason why, I mainly do my bows by hand, but when I'm using a lot of ribbon or big thick ribbon, sometimes I find it easier to use the bow maker to actually hold my ribbon in place. 
let me get that out. And then I'm going to turn the camera down so you can kind of see what I'm doing. Sorry for the movement. Okay, I'll move this back a little bit. Okay, so I've got my big spool there on the Easy Bow Maker. And I'm going to go ahead and trim the bottom of this. And I think I'm going to make my tails... To make my tails about 12 inches long. So I'm just going to put it down, pull my tails, and then I'm going to make about a six inch loop. I'm going to twist it. And I think I'm actually going to do four of these loops. A lot of times I just do two, but I really want this ribbon to pop out and kind of ground the design a little bit since we're going to be putting a lot of different things that have glitter and sparkle. I don't want the entire wreath to have that look. So here it is with just the two loops. Really pretty ribbon. Next we're going to add the polka dot or the snowball. For this design we're going to call it snowball ribbon. Same thing, I'm going to put my ribbon on my one spool, bring it through, push down, and do my loops. And I'm going to do these a little bit shy of the six because I kind of want to get that layered look. And then here's the look with the next layer of ribbon. And the reason why I'm holding it up, because I don't have a good camera angle until I can get my internet up and working, which I'm waiting daily for. So I just kind of like to show you each step as I go. So hopefully when I can get my internet and get my Mevo, I won't have to do all this for you guys. And then we're going to put, which that didn't work very good, the end of my straight pin came out. There it goes. So now we're going to start bringing in some of the snow and the snowflakes. And I'm going to make that one a little bit shorter also. Making sure I have enough. I want to do four loops of this. Typically, when I do my bows, um, I can't. I tend to keep mine a little more simple, using three, maybe sometimes four different ribbons. I think sometimes less is best on some of your designs, especially when you have a beautiful sign like we have. Okay, I'm going to get these out of the way here. There it is. Okay, I'm going to use a pipe cleaner to tie mine off. I'm just going to pick this up. And this one's a thick one because of the thickness of my four inch ribbon. I just take it behind, pull it through, the, whoops, got it. pull it through the middle, secure it almost all the way tight, not all the way, and I take it between my two fingers, and now I'm gonna take, I better get a longer one. Now I'm gonna take my second zip tie, and it's gonna go underneath, 
And this is the one I'm gonna secure it with to my grapevine. So let me pull this one tight. And then we're just gonna snip that off. And I'm gonna fluff this again once I get it attached. But this way I can just kind of see where I'm at. So there's what our bow's looking like. Nice, Christmassy, got the snowflakes. So let's go ahead and attach this to the wreath and I'm gonna move my camera back up so you guys can see. There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna attach it, like I said, with the second zip tie that I put underneath the zip tie that I attached it to. Weave that through there. Pull that up there nice and tight. And then we're just going to cut off the zip tie. I'm going to curl the snowflakes up just a little bit, but I think I'm going to kind of leave these kind of long for right now until we get the greenery and stuff in them, and then we may trim these up. Okay, guys, there it is with the bow attached. So let's go ahead and start adding some of our greenery and our picks and our snowflakes. Okay, I got two different greenery, even though they're both flocked. You'll notice this one is a much longer and fuller pick than what this greenery is. I typically add two or three different types of greenery, not always flocked, but on this one, I think I'm gonna do a lot of the flocked because I want that winter wonderland look. So I'm gonna just start clipping off the individual pieces of greenery here because I want to kind of place some around them. Well, I'm just gonna do that if I can cut it. Oh, here it is. Gotta get my stem cutter out. I cannot live without my stem cutter. Okay, so now we're just gonna start gluing these in place. There's no really right or wrong how to glue these in. I typically just start at the top where my bow is and work my way around it. Always spread out your greenery and or picks or anything you work with. It just makes it look more realistic. Okay, so you can just kind of see how I am filling in my first layer. I'm filling in the back 
of the bow. So I'm starting from the back part of the wreath and I'm gonna work my way forward around the bow. So there it is filled in all behind the back of the bow. And see how much more your ribbon pops out against the flocking of the greenery? Now, you could stop there if you wanted with this design, but we're not. We're gonna make it a lot fuller. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm not really gonna bring much down on this side because of his hat coming up here, I might put a little bit more here with some berries. So we're gonna add the bulk of our design coming down the opposite side. So we're gonna change a little bit of our blocking here. I will say when you work with the flocking, it kind of goes everywhere. Sometimes it's almost as bad as glitter. Okay, so I just took this from this flat piece to spreading it out. And I strongly encourage you spread everything you do, whether it's your florals, your greenery, up there. Okay, what I, I'm going to curl this up so you can see better. What I'm going to do, I'm going to add in some of this other flocking that I have. Boy, that one was strong. And the reason why is because when you look at this up close, you can really tell the difference of where this greenery stops and where this greenery starts. And I want it to flow in together. So I'm gonna put a few pieces in here. But first what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna zip tie the bottom part of this greenery because it sticks out too much. So we're gonna zip tie that down. It's still gonna give you that three dimension that we wanna keep, but I don't want it sticking out that far. So I'm just going to take a zip tie and go behind it. You'll never see this zip tie. But like I say in all my designing, if you do grapevines, so much easier if you keep all different sizes of zip ties to work with versus wire. Now I'm just adding in some small pieces of my first greenery that I used. And with this greenery, I'm not securing it all the way down into the grapevine. I'm actually just gluing it to the top of the grapevine, or the uh, prior evergreen that we've got in there.
I'm not wild about this piece of greenery, so I'm going to cut it actually out of here. Okay, see how I've tied in different pieces of the evergreen to kind of bring the top and the bottom together. And then we're going to put some picks and some berries and stuff like that in there. But it just kind of makes your, your evergreens flow a little better. Okay, let's put a few little berries in to see how we're looking there. I try to move my berries around a little bit, but sometimes it's hard because the way they're made, they're glued together. And if you pull too hard, you're going to tear it and then you're going to see the white foam underneath of it. So you kind of have to be careful when you're... doing all that, but I don't want those berries that thick. So we're going to trim a few of these berries off. I want to keep the berries and the design kind of light and whimsical. So by doing the whole pick of that ber red berries, I thought it was too heavy. Okay, there it is with that one pick I cut up in three pieces so I've got the berries here here and then up here at the top so I encourage you when you're using your picks and stuff to cut them apart because they will go a lot further okay that glue or that flocking is I think what we're going to do next is add the snowflakes And I got the snowflakes at, like I said, at um, Walmart. And I believe they were, I'll check again, but I think they were just a dollar. Uh, let's see. Nope, dollar ninety-nine. Sorry, two dollars. Okay, when I'm putting in my snowflakes, I am not putting them at the back of the wreath. I am moving now forward more towards my bow, my ribbon. Make sure I got that in there. Okay, see how I've got the snowflakes coming in further and they're not just straight. I've got them kind of at an angle so it keeps the dimension flowing. Get all these glue strings off. Because I want you to see the snowflakes but I don't want them to stand out. I want them just to kind of flow within the design. Okay, we're going to add some more here but I'm going to put
keep adding a couple more snowflakes. Okay, so I've added some more snowflakes coming down and you'll see I've got them angled at different directions. They're not just in there flat. Okay, let's add a couple of snowballs and then I think I'm gonna add a few more red berries. You know what, I think I'm gonna add the red berries first. I wanna see what that looks like. This is what's fun about doing grapevines. As you go, you can just kind of stand back and think, oh, I need something there. It needs, and you can add it, you can pull it back out, and you can make the grapevine wreaths as full as you want. Yeah, I like that much better with the added berries. Okay, let's add some snowballs. I got these also at Walmart for $4.99. Okay, I'm just gonna kind of place a few around to see where I like it. Can you see that over there? Scoop that down a little bit, maybe see it better. Okay, so from that one pick, I got uh, five snowballs. Okay, let's glue those in. I don't know if I want to put berries in the middle of my bow or the snowball. I'm going to do the berries. I like how that red makes that silver stand out a little bit more. And all I'm going to do is I just put a little bit at the end and I go down in between the bow. I'm going to stand back just for a minute so I can see kind of where I'm at with it. Okay, I'm going to add a few more berries along the outside. But I'm going to add them on the back of the wreath going backwards. So you can just kind of barely see the berries, but I want some of that red color to come through. So I'm going to show you... I want some berries to come out over in here, so we're gonna kind of fill it, because if you look at that, it looks like it just needs a little more red on that side. I 
I can't wait till I can do live so then I can actually talk to people instead. I feel like I'm just talking to myself doing my videos. I think I see one bare spot that I want to see if I need to add some evergreen to. Okay, I have one snowball left. I have to use it because I don't like I don't like having one of something left. It's just kind of a pain to keep it in your craft room. You kind of forget about it. They fall in the bottom of a big box never to be seen again. So when I'm designing, I try to use all of my picks like this. We're going to put it right there so you can barely kind of see it. Okay, see how this part of my grapevine still brown? It doesn't stand out as much because we have the glitter on it. It just kind of gives it a nice shine. So there, I think we're done. And I'll show you an up close. So just to kind of recap, it's on a 21, 22 inch oval grapevine wreath. We did three ribbons, a four, and a half, or four inch, and then two, two and a half inch uh, ribbons. We used uh, one, one and a half picks of the heavier flocked evergreen, and that was mainly on the top here. And then I used one pick of this. Actually, I didn't even use one, I used almost one. And that piece of it, I kept it together, and that's what came down this side. And then I took a few pieces that I had left of this pick, the heavy one, and I just kind of inserted them every so often. So that way, like I said, the greenery kind of matches and all kind of flows together. Then once we did that, went back and we added um, two picks, actually one and a half pick, of the berries I cut them apart and I just kind of sporadically placed them and they are in front of the greenery so the greenery was my first one the second layer is of my berries so I put some here and then I added some put some down there excuse me and then I took a little bit over on this side and you'll notice I only took my greenery down to about the top of our little Santa hat so then we came back put in our snowflakes like I said, you'll notice they're kind of at an angle at different directions, and they are about the same area as where the berries are, but they are in front of the greenery. And you can move those around. So I sporadically just kind of placed those and then came back with our snowballs. And see how everything just kind of pops. It has that glisten, kind of almost like a Christmas morning with fresh snow. You can just see all the different berries and stuff outside that are covered with the snow and glitter. So anyway, anyway, guys, this is it. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you were able to stay awake on the East Coast to watch the uh, video and things like that. Once again, I'm Doreen from Door Designs. Uh, Katie, thank you for the marathon and for inviting us to do this. We, I always have a good time every time I do it. Hopefully the next time I can actually do a live. Uh, but anyway, if you like what you saw, please feel free to go out to my page and follow and also share it or sprinkle it. And then I also have my YouTube channel that I'm working on. So I would love to have you go out and check my channel, Door Designs, and love to have you subscribe. Anyway, you guys have a great week. Um, hope this gets you in the holiday spirit, and I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye.